so I just wanted to do a really quick garden update. So about, I want to say, if I'm being generous, four or five days ago, I came out here and I cut herbs so I can put them in my dehydrator. Um, I just posted that video, so go check that out. But I was just in my garden looking everything over and my chives are absolutely going crazy. Let me show you. So when I cut these, I cut them like all the way down here. I came back and I actually, I got some more. So these, these ones haven't grown yet. So maybe I want to say, you know, probably a week ago, I had cut these down just like these ones are cut. Look at them. In a week's time. These ones, a week's time. And then let me see if I can get right over here. This one. Like, look at that. It just sprung right up and you can see where I came back and I did my second cutting. That was probably four days ago. This is a week ago. Everything just sprung right back to life. Isn't nature so crazy? So, loofah update time. I want to say I have about 11 loofahs now. So I've noticed that you want to put your loofahs in right after the frost. They don't like the cold. Once it starts getting into those hotter months, that's when it really starts booming because it wasn't until maybe like a week ago that my loofahs really started to come in. I had like two or three. Now I have 11. So here was the first one that I noticed. It's the second one. And then I want to say this one was the third right here. But I'll just go through and I'll show you all of them. But what I also noticed about them is that this used to be softer. I come out here and I touch them maybe like every other day. I don't want to damage them. I just kind of want to let them do their thing until they dry out on the vine. Um, this has gotten harder. So that's one more thing I'm going to start looking out for is when they start getting harder because I'm going to assume that that is like the next step in the process. So like these little ones right here that are just starting, those are, those are like squishy. These ones I think you can take off and eat. Some cultures do that. Um, I basically, I'm basically just growing these so that I can get the loofah seeds and the loofah plant. But let's see if I can like show them all to you. So here's one, two, this is probably gonna turn into a third. I'm hoping that turns into a fourth. Five. Six. Seven. I'm hoping this one turns into an eight. Nine. Ten. And 11 so if all those little ones start growing out I will have 11 loofahs and honestly I'm probably gonna have more than that because this loofah plant is just absolutely taking off oh yeah okay let's add no I got that one already um, so 11 right now so I want to see how many that are actually going to I don't want to say ripen um, I want to see how many are actually going to last dry out and give me seeds and loofahs that I can actually use in the shower and for cleaning my dishes so that I don't have to, you know, use sponges or reusable sponges. I am so excited. The loofah is my prized possession right now and I am just so happy with this. I was really disheartened early on because it was just not taking off. I thought it wasn't gonna work. But now going through this the first year, like I said earlier, it takes off once it's in like the, the hotter season. Down in New England, it takes a little bit while to get to that exact temperature. So I'm super excited. I know what's gonna happen next year. I'm so ready for it. I'm already planning my garden for next year. Maybe I'll show you guys what I have in my design. All right, that was just a quick garden update on my loofahs. Bye.